Hello everyone, welcome back to Arrakis for another episode of Let's Play Dune, the 1992 video game adaptation of the Frank Herbert novel and 1984 film adaptation of Dune. Uh, we're playing the Amiga version here, and if I've done my job correctly as the editor and uploader of the previous episode, I would have directed you to a long play of the DOS version, as I was ruminating last time about the differences between the two versions, and how that might affect the gameplay slightly, and, and the atmosphere of the game as well. And even if you have a look at that video and compare it to the introduction that's playing now, there's quite a big tonal difference really, even though quite a lot of the um, the pixel art graphics are uh, used between the two. The DOS version intersperses video from the movie and also pre rendered 3D graphics as well, which I don't know, for me, it gives it kind of a lumpier, a lumpier texture and spaces things out a bit more. Uh, and very no notably, also, the, um, the characters are all fully voice acted in the DOS version and not so here. And um, the wonderful uh, music that we're hearing right now is absent from the DOS version. Um, I assume that's something to do with the fact that the music would have been specifically programmed for Amiga using its tracker, so it used specific samples as part of that to, to create its music and sound effects. Um, and presumably that must have been recorded for the um, CD soundtrack release of, the, of this version of the game, but perhaps those sound files couldn't be used, perhaps there wasn't capacity on the CD-ROM alongside the other video components for that to be there. I press there to rely on um, a MIDI soundtrack instead, but I uh, personally I find this version uh, a lot more consistent and impressive. Um, but there there are definitely uh, benefits to the other version, and it's um, yeah up up to each individual to decide which they'd rather go with. I and mean, functionally, um, both games seem to to work the same. So let's continue our exploration of Planet Arrakis. Okay, that's not Sting, and Sting is not on page 15. Okay, we're loading in through the uh, global view of the game. And we're going to load up our save game from uh, day 10, 12pm. And it's going to give us this nice little uh, statistical tally of where we are in the, in the strategy portion of the game. Um, we're still lagging far behind the Harkonnens for uh, dominance of spice resources and control of the planet. Let's go to the um, map version, the map view of the planet, and let's have a look at what we can do here. So we're, um, we're at this edge with uh, uh, the workers here and also the prospectors. I feel like this is the point of the game where things get a bit more abstruse. Um, we seem to have got through in quite a tidy adventure game focused portion. And I think we've got to try and figure out the uh, the more abstract strategic uh, pros prospect of, uh, of progressing in the game. Um, speaking of prospects, let me see what I can do to give the uh, the prospect is something else because it occurred to me I, I think after the recording of, of last time that um, it might be handy to move the weaponry around to try and encourage um, people to fight on our side and also the prospectors might actually get around pretty nippier if they had a uh, an ornithopter or two so if one of those is ours if I give them two to, to start oh I can only have one Fair enough. Give them two to start, start going around with. Um, yeah, there you go. So I think they can only have one of each type of thing, which is fair enough. So they've got some weapon resource and one ornithopter. Uh, let's see how that plays out. Great, with this orny, we'll move faster from one sea edge to another. Perfect, yeah, so that's, that's what I was hoping for. So I don't know of anywhere new for them to go at the moment. I guess I could um, move them. Maybe is the the perhaps the most story significant seeming um, fremen seem to be located here at Juno Tabir. So if we head 
send the prospects back there um, for now. Um, they might be able to pass the weaponry along. Let's see how these um, these miners are doing. Um, so what do they have? They have okay. Would they like an ornithopter? Let's see. The owner should prove really useful in watching for the worm sign. It will save lives and equipment. Okay. So that's... Uh, okay. So they appreciate that. Okay. What if I were to give them a knife? The equipment is of no use for our current occupation. Okay. So I will take that back then. All good? Okay. Yeah, they didn't seem to mind. All right. So that might help in some way um, might help with their productivity might help with their motivation oh nice you get to see the audience up to her for there as well prospectors are well on their way um, so what if we take an ornithopter there as well I think I could have done that from inside the map probably um, and I suspect I'm probably going to have to change disk soon as well? No, not yet. I um, I think I enjoyed the music far too much to skip the travel time. Um, hopefully you'll agree viewers. But it's, it's quite a soothing experience. Okay, so if we go inside... Now we have to change disk. Okay, so the prospectors haven't got here yet. Um, uh, what if we talk to the friend and chief? Spice money for seven days. Cool. Um, production level is now only 11 kilograms an hour. Spice is harder to mine now. Fair enough. We we knew it was going to be fine, right? Um, um, what does Gurney have to say? Let's check in. What we can do now is go back to the palace with the two harvesters distributed. Fair enough. Um, Thanks, Gurney. Ah, oh, okay. So the prospectors arrive in real time too. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, you've already been here. Okay, that's cool. Um, you can go elsewhere, that's fine. If I give you orders, that's where I can distribute equipment, right? So if I were to... I don't... Hmm, so I don't need you to go anywhere just yet so maybe if I take both of those back from you is that okay okay thanks um, and then talk to our friends who um, live in this yetch and give them why don't I give them the knife start first of all no it's, no so they're not inclined to uh, to fight that's fair enough so those knives aren't really useful at the moment. If I give you an ornithopter, yeah, it's, it's equally useful to them for watching for worm sight. So that might improve their um, their inclination towards Paul uh, the um, which is good. Um, cool. All right. That's fine. Um, no more orders. Thanks. So I think we're going to head back to the palace then, um, without much else of a clue of what to do, um, and hope um, and a good bit of spice gets mined in the meantime. In the mine time, maybe. Each time I come back to the game, I um, I dig the color color palette anew. Um, the um, day and night palette palette changes are they're really beautiful. Okay, we can go 
back into the palace. And another thought I'd had is that um, we'd wandered through the desert quite a lot last episode, but we didn't return to the um, the control room that we'd found. And so far in the game, that hasn't really performed a function, so I wonder if there's something to be done there now. Let's have a look. Um, view new messages. Now, we hadn't, we hadn't encountered that before. Let's have a look. And push her down the fourth. Let's do it. I do remind you that I sent you to June to extract spice, so make the necessary arrangements. I will call you again very soon for the first shipment. Oh, look at that grin. Okay. Anything else? No, that's that's all Shadam's got to say. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Gurney? We don't understand much of this kind of technology. Fair enough, Gurney. Um, Alright, uh, that was new. I wonder if that will have uh, altered anything. Let's um, let's go around and talk to everybody again. Let's talk to Duncan. You've seen the Emperor's message. Well, our spice production has to be increased. This The friendman from Chiono Tabir, the one who gave us the tell suits, he told me about an area rich in spice. Us. Oh. I think that was the person who previously told us about an area rich in spice, isn't it? So have we. Have we done things out of order? Our stocks of spice are currently 5,090 kilograms. Yesterday we produced 950 kilograms of spice, that is 450 better than the day before. Well, that's almost a 50% increase, isn't it? So that's good. Do you remember that spice is by. F no, 100% increase, sorry. Do you remember that spice is by far the most valuable substance in the whole universe and that it can only be found here in June? I, I do remember that. It's, it's been impressed upon me. And uh, the Duke isn't here. On the balcony? Oh, you're hiding up there. You're right, Duke. This is my favourite room in the palace. Look, Paul. Look at those dunes. What a sight. Person needs new experiences. They jar something inside, allowing you to grow. Without changes, something sleeps inside us and seldom awakens. The sleeper must awaken. The Duke is feeling very uh, philosophical at the moment. And then bedroom. Let's see how Jessica's doing. I'll do my best to help you, Paul, but sometimes you have to manage. Oh, Jessica. Okay. Well, that was interesting. So, is it worth returning to Jonah to be here again? Is it worth going back there? Um, to see if anything new does happen. Because I think we'd pretty much ruled out the possibility of um, being able to find sketches on our own initiative uh, from last time. So we do; they do have to be triggered in the plot. So hopefully this is going to do something. Let's find out. Okay, uh, Fremen Chief. Haha, <laughs> Paul Atreides, you seem to be much interested in spice. I certainly am. I guess I've been told of vast spice fields in the south. That's what we want. Take your only and fly plain southeast, okay. Um, before reaching the rocky area, I'm writing this down. Before reaching the rocky area, you'll find Fremen. Fantastic. That'd be great. My troop is settled in Chirona to beer. We've been doing spice burning for a few hours. Cool. There's the not here, not far from here, southeastwards. Okay. Well, let's go then. Um, do actually, can I? Can I look ahead to that area yet? I wonder. Um, not yet. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, uh, that's fine. You can stay here. Um, no more orders. Cool. All right. Let's get in our orni and uh, 
do a bit of aerial spotting. And luckily Gurney's still along for the ride to um, spot us the H while I'm flying. So let's take to the skies and head plane southeast. So before we get to the rocky bit, so if I head in that direction, is that going to be good? Let's see what happens. Oh, that was something. Wait a minute, I'm not sure. I think I've just seen a sketch on the left. Okay, let's do it. Nice. Okay, so let's let's go in. Ooh, okay, a different uh, a different layout. Nice. Let's go further in. Ooh, a named character. Hurrah. I've heard about you, Paul Atreides. You are misinformed. All the people have left. I stayed here to mourn for my husband, Janice. Oh. He died during a fight with a young man, but mourning time comes to an end now. I have to live my life. Ah, the spice. Yes, spice is easy to locate around here. There's much more southwards. I know several CH locations. Hmm? Oh, okay. Um, so, are they on our map? They're not quite, are they? So, sea spice density. Okay. So that hasn't been assessed yet. So maybe if I... Uh, oh, maybe I can... Hmm. Let's see if I can talk to the prospectors. Can I talk to them? No, just say there's the map on them. That's fine. Can I recruit Hurrah? Come with me, Hurrah. Yes, Paul Atreides, I'm going with you, and I don't care what the people will say. Awesome. So you want to go to areas which was in Spice, didn't you? We have to go southwest. Fantastic. Okay. Awesome. I've got a new, got a new friend. I like this. So. Okay, so we're going southwest. Let's keep going because the um, prospect is. Oh! Hello! I didn't know about any of these. Habanya Timin. Habanya Tuek. Habanya Tabir. Awesome, so let's get the prospectors on the way. So I'll go here first and get them moving around. Fab, okay. Um, we'll go here. I wonder what Hurrah says here. You better talk with the Fremen chiefs. Fair enough. Um, let's talk to the Fremen chief. Yep, you're doing fine. Uh, prospector chief. Okay. Can I uh, give you some orders to go elsewhere, please? Because that would be that'd be great. Um. So I'd like you to check out uh, this one. Oh, Ooh, there we, there's always something there. Nice. Um, what is there? Do I know about these ones? I don't. I haven't been there yet. That's fair enough. Um, can I... No, not that one. Can I give orders to these ones, please? Move troop. There we go. So could you have a look there? And then there? And then there please fab I think I might not have given you an orny so that might take a while but never mind um, let's see where are they still so who's who's over here can I look at those no I can't okay um, oh well let's uh, 
Can I? Ah, oh, okay. I click on the C H to do it. Um, let's go there, flying an awning. I, I think that's not a very spice-rich place. It's, it's moderately rich, isn't it? Who's at Carthag Chuek? Nobody. Okay, fair enough. Okay, um, well, that's fair. Okay. And I'm trying to think what to do strategically. Um, not entirely sure. So let's just fly to the other places. I think that's that'll be fine. And we'll see if there's anybody there who um, is willing to work with us. Because that'd be useful. So let's go Habanya Tim in. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, let's see who's around. This is one of those red nights, strange night indeed. I always see shadows at night. Mm hmm. I um I I really love the um the characterization. There's okay, ooh, no, I don't want to go anywhere by only at the moment. Uh, the game gets um across quite a lot of character in a in a short space, which I really appreciate. <gasps> Welcome to Havana Tim Inn! So here's this Paul Atreides we've heard about. Hmm. Okay. Can can I? Oh, can I ask you to work for me? Yes, I agree to let my troop work for you. Okay. Great. Um, can we? What can we do then? What would you like to do? The troop has settled in and him waiting your orders. Okay. Um, would you like to? Okay. Quite motivated. What would you would you like to do? Army? No. Would you like to do space? Okay. Um, but are you happy to do for that to be your order when when things happen? Okay, I think it is. So uh, no more orders. Can I? Oh, okay. I'll just go out. go out on foot, um, and then we'll go to the next place. It still is a red light. I agree. Gurney? Why don't we go back to the palace after we visit? Yeah. I think Gurney feels... Oh! Gurney uh, appreciates the red light as well. Okay, uh, let's talk to the... Oh, Kremlin. We saw you coming from the other CH. Hmm. Okay. Would you, would you like to work for us? Yeah? Great. Okay. Um. So. Cool. Hello. So we're here. So, would you like to fight? No. Would you like to mine spice? Yeah, but that's fine. Great. Okay. And then let's fly here. I think we can just, yeah, just head straight off. Fantastic. Okay. Kind of waiting to see if there's any more. Uh... Oh, you know what? I didn't explore that yet anymore. Um, interesting that there could be more to explore. So uh, I'll. I might return on my way there. We've heard of you. You're the son of Atreides Duke and of Jessica, the 
could you be the one? All those whispers. Um, would you like to work for me? Work for you? I don't see the point. Oh, okay, resistant. Interesting. This room chief is a little hard to convince. You should come back here again later. Fair enough, Hera. Thanks for the advice. Um, yeah, going for the same advice. Can I go any further into the CH? Oh, I can. Interesting. All right, so we'll stop back at the other CH in case there's any interactions we've missed there. And I, uh, while I'm enjoying this kind of gameplay, I'm kind of also interested if there are any other surprises this game wants to throw at me. But this is this is quite a pleasant time. Um, I enjoy the little little drips of story that we get as we go along. But it's always nice to be pleasantly surprised. Okay, nobody else there at the moment. Fine. Um, should we see where the prospectors are? Um, where are they? Uh, that one? No, there? And then more just for you. Here? They, no, here. Which ones are the prospectors? Oh. Oh, okay. So they've got. Who's got what equipment? You've got. Oh, so you've got an orny. You've got a harvester. And there was. The, no, so that was the one that didn't want to work for us. That's the one, that's one where we are right now. This one has no equipment, okay. Fair enough. Um, oh, there's the prospect, I see it now. Okay, fine, you're on your way. Oh, and you did that one? Fantastic, so they're gonna be on the go, aren't they? Fab. All right. Um, so I'll let the prospectors do what they're doing. And uh, let's take an Orny to the palace again. We've kind of done that, that round of inspections and uh, productivity will have increased, so it might be time for something else to happen. Oh, the characters don't talk while you're flying. That's fair enough. It's best not to distract the driver. Let's see, it might be an interesting experience to have her uh, visit the palace, might not it? Nice palace you have here. Mm hmm. <laughs> I think she's my favourite so far. Okay, um, shall we check for messages? Seems like a prudent thing to do. Um, there are no new messages, okay. Okay, let's talk to Gurney, if Gurney's around. Sorry, Duncan, if Duncan's around. Paul, I don't think that I've told you about the worms. They're a danger to all spice mining. Sandworms grow to an enormous size. Specimens longer than 400 meters have been seen in the deep desert and live to a great age. Worms attack all rhythmic vibrations. Don't hesitate to regroup your troops in a place where there is much spice to mine. Okay. Our stocks of spice are currently 7,980 kilograms. They say we produced 1,730 kilograms. Yes, it's improving. Cool. Um, all right, let's see if anybody else, oh, you're back here, Duke. Let's have a look. Remember that now our most important task is to achieve good spice production. Okay. Um, should we take her uh, to meet Jessica? Oh, Paul with a girl. I knew this would happen. She's quite charming, but don't let her distract you from your goals. 
Walk out into the desert, stay there a while, let it penetrate you. Spices on the present on June, it may awaken your internal potentials, but you must go alone. Ooh. Okay, a little optional, uh, optional objective to see what will happen. Well, I think that might be an interesting experiment to, um, to end the episode on. I'm going to save it first. Okay, so now we've saved, let's ask um, Hurrah and Gurney if they'll stay here. Um, stay here please, Hurrah. I'll stay here if I want to. You don't seem to know what you want. Follow me, stay here. Sheesh. Uh, are, are you going to stay here? Yes. Phew, okay. So you're here in my bedroom, that's cool. Gurney? It's cooler inside, isn't it? Yeah, I know, you, I know you prefer the palace, Gurney. Would you like to stay here for a bit? As you wish, Paul. I shall stay here. Thanks, Gurney. Um, okay, so I think, yep. So there's everybody uh, in my bedroom, which isn't weird. And let's go into the desert. Let's try it. Oh, you can see the um, you can see the palace from here. That's nice. It's not just featureless. Oh, hang on. What's this? Message has arrived in the palace. Oh, okay. So is this a vision of things to come or? Interesting. Uh, it's interesting that the instruction for call a worm is there. You can't do it yet. Interesting. So I, I guess that's, is that it? That might be it. Oh, okay, it's dusk. I don't know if we're at risk from anything happening. Um, I don't know if we have to wait any longer for, for things to happen. I mean, the fact that we had a vision is probably an indication that we've we've changed somewhat. Okay, well let's sneak back in. Is the the game still got its hooks in me? Let's see if there is a message. Oh, hello, Hara, Hara, you're here. A little bit cold. Um, will you come with me? I'm still ready to follow you. Thanks, Hara. You're my favourite. Yes, a few new messages, okay. Oh, Shadam again. I want a shipment of 980 kilograms of spice today. Alright. Um, can I arrange that with Gurney? No, not Gurney. Duncan. Can I arrange it with Duncan? Our sorts of spice are currently 8,490, so we don't have any trouble with shipping that. They say we've produced uh, 1,730, yep. Impressed for a ship, spice shipment, didn't he? Um, we can send him what he asked for. Yeah, uh, I'll queue. accept. Oh, what? Uh, hang on, this is an interesting character choice. So we can argue about it, we can accept it, or we can refuse. Mmm. Argue? We can send him the totality of our stocks. That's a lot indeed. Oh, uh, argue. Maybe 50% more than what he asked? That won't be a problem as our stocks are interesting. Argue. We can try to send him twice what he asked for. Maybe that would please him. So this gives us different options. Um, well, we still have some time before the end of the day, but Paul, we can't delay anymore. I'm not very excited about having the Emperor come here, you know. Interesting. I wonder what happens if the Emperor does come here. Um. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, so if we start dialing again, we can... So I guess if we refuse, we just... Go out of the dialogue? Let's try it. Well, we still. Ah, yeah, okay. Okay. So I had to decide whether to do exactly the amount he asked for, everything we've collected, which I'm not going to give to the Emperor. I know the Emperor's uh, a piece of work. 50%? Um, uh, more, I think? Or. To. to 
twice the amount, I think. Okay, interesting. What should we do? Um, if we send too much, we don't have it as a resource, and we are perhaps making things more difficult for ourselves. So I'm tempted just to give the Emperor exactly what he asked for. Okay, Paul, let's go to the communication room at once and send this shipment to the Emperor. Come on, let's go to the communication room. Come with me, Duncan. Good, let's go. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, I think we're good. We had a little bit of duplication there, but fab. Um, so I'm excited by our new team. Okay, so let's. Oh, hello, it's happening. Ooh. This is intriguing. Oh, so that is that the spice shipment? Okay, we automatically do it by going there. Nice. The spice has been shipped. Let's wait for the Emperor's reaction. Okay, I, I don't think I'm going to sit by the controls and wait for it, but we don't have to worry. We've sent what he asked. Ah, the answer's just come. Let's have a look at this message. Mm, uh, okay. Hi. Hi, Shadam. We sent me the spice I've asked you. Asked for. I've asked you for? Good. Next shipment will be five days from now. Okay. That's fine. We didn't have to uh, over egg it. All oh, right. Um, Duncan, are you interested in coming with? Come with. Okay. Duncan's. Uh... Okay, Duncan's on the team. I think we'll we'll finish there for the, this episode interesting developments and um, the name of the game very much is spice production still so we'll try and crack on with that if we can explore our new our newly found sketches a little more okay until next time take care see you then